What is poppin' guys? It is your boy Funko Pop Zone. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my top five SDCC Funko Pops. So, let's go. Just to clarify, after that brief intro, uh, let me just plug real quick, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and like this video if you enjoy it. I'm gonna be talking about the top five San Diego Comic-Con exclusives coming out. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna give you my little lowdown of what ones I think are really cool. I'm gonna be showing a picture of each one right here as well. So first, my number five pop of San Diego Comic-Con that has been announced is the like Mark I Iron Man, which uh, is for the 10 year anniversary, kind of like they did Thanos and Throne. So that's for the 10 year anniversary of Marvel, um, I think their cinematic universe, but I'm not really exactly sure. But I think that's a really, really cool pop. A lot of great detail on it with like the brushed metal and all that. So super, super cool. And that's my number five. My number four pop guys is the Looney Tunes Pepe Le Pew. Uh, this is one I really, really want because I have part of the Looney Tunes collection. So I just wanna keep continuing to add on to that collection. And it's just one that I think looks really good. And I think will just really, really fit in um, to my collection really well. So that is my number four pop. So my number three pop that's been released for SDCC is gonna be the Stranger Things Dustin with, I think it's Dance Dustin or, at the end of the um, Stranger Things season two, there's like a snowball, like a dance and he wears, um, he's got the Ferris faucet spray that Steve gives him and he's got the uh, like the ruffles and stuff. So that one's a really, really funny one and just an awesome scene in that and that to close out that season. And I just think that's a really cool pop to make and definitely gonna be a must have for me and my Stranger Things collection, as you can see right there. So um, yeah, so that's my number three and let's just move on to number two. So my number two pop uh, for San Diego Comic-Con is gonna be actually two pops. It's gonna be the two 8-bit Wreck-It Ralphs and Funko freaking thank God you finally got an 8-bit pop right. These are the perfect two characters to do for 8-bit pop. Also another one I think they should use Pac-Man, but let me just get through that. So I think this is a great 8-bit pop. Um, look, They look really good, him, uh, Wreck-It Ralph and Fix-It Felix. Two must-haves for me. I know those ones for sure I think are box, of, a bon a bon a box lunch exclusives. So definitely must-haves for me. I love Wreck-It Ralph and I just think those are two 8-bit pops that actually make sense. So good job Funko for actually doing something correctly. And finally, my favorite Funko Pop of SDCC 2018 that has been announced thus far is Edna Jack-Jack from The Incredibles. And hold on, hold on. There is a lot of flack for this pop and the mold being boring. And there's just a lot of flack about this pop. But me personally, funniest scene in the movie, uh, him and the raccoon is pretty funny too. But also just an awesome pop. The minute I saw it, I said, that needs to be a pop. And they came through with it. And I can't be mad at Funko for coming through with a pop that I actually saw the movie and said that could be a pop. So super happy with it. Definitely a must have for me. That is the one biggest must have for me. So I can continue on my journey to collect all the Jack Jack. Still need Monster Jack Jack. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you have one for sale. Um, so I can pick that up because I need to get that. But yeah, guys, that is my top five list for SDCC coming up. Um, let me know in the comment section also what you guys, your guys' top five is. Um, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure to like it if you enjoyed. It's been your boy Funko Pop Zone, and see ya at SDCC.